On Monday, January 27th, Nvidia's share price fell by 17%. This represented a $600 billion decrease in the company's market capitalization, the largest one-day decline of any company ever. This was catalyzed by a new AI chatbot called DeepSeek, which was developed by a Chinese company. DeepSeek's latest model V3 was released on January 10th, but it wasn't until the weekend of the 26th that it went viral. On January 27th, it surpassed ChatGPT to become the most downloaded app in the Apple App Store. DeepSeek's chatbot performs roughly in line with OpenAI's ChatGPT-01 on various benchmarks. ChatGPT-01 is currently OpenAI's most advanced and expensive model. DeepSeek claims that it only spent $6 million on computing power to train its chatbot. Furthermore, DeepSeek is a Chinese company. Due to export controls, they were not able to use NVIDIA's top-of-the-line H100 GPUs. They instead use the less advanced H800 GPUs. For comparison, OpenAI has raised $18 billion since 2015 and is not subject to any export controls. Big tech companies including OpenAI, Google, Meta, and others are collectively spending hundreds of billions of dollars to build out AI computing infrastructure. The conventional wisdom was that the more money you spend and the more computing power you have, the better your AI model will perform. If DeepSea can make a model that's just as good for a tiny fraction of 1% of the price, does that mean the US tech companies are just wasting money? In this video, we'll look at how DeepSeek built its AI chatbot and what implications this will have for the AI industry. When researching breaking news like DeepSeek, it can often be hard to get the full picture because every media outlet has its own bias. That's why I use Ground News, the world's first news comparison platform. They're an app and a website that brings together related stories in one place to highlight important perspectives often overlooked by mainstream media. For example, Donald Trump said DeepSeek should serve as a wake-up call for US tech companies. On Ground News, we can see that 321 media outlets covered this topic. They rank each media outlet on a bias scale, so you can compare the left-wing, right-wing, and centrist perspectives. Some of the left-leaning articles use this as an opportunity to criticize Trump and his AI policies. On the other hand, the right-leaning articles emphasize strategic competition between the US and China. Ground News is an invaluable tool for doing research or just keeping up to date with what's going on in the world, and they're now offering my viewers 40% off their unlimited Vantage plan, the same plan I use to access all of their features. That's just $5 per month. In a world where news moves fast and the truth can be hard to find, Ground News helps you see the full perspective. Plus, by subscribing, you're directly supporting my work. So use my link, ground.news WSM, to sign up today. And now back to the video. DeepSeed claims that its model outperforms ChatGPT on a number of benchmarks. You always have to take benchmarks with a grain of salt because they can be cherry-picked and applied inconsistently. The best way to compare different AI chatbots is just to play around with them. So I compared DeepSeek to OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0. Keep in mind that I pay $20 per month to get access to ChatGPT 4.0, while DeepSeek is completely free, at least for now. I gave both of them the exact same prompt. I asked them to write an intro paragraph for an article about DeepSeek and the competitive threat it poses to OpenAI. ChatGPT gave the following response. DeepSeek, a relatively unknown AI startup, has burst onto the scene with a chatbot that could pose a significant challenge to OpenAI's dominance in generative AI. Claiming to have developed its AI model with a mere $6 million, a fraction of the billion spent by giants like OpenAI and Google, DeepSeek has already outperformed ChatGPT on several key benchmarks. This startling achievement highlights a broader trend, the ability of nimble startups to rival tech behemoths, despite their astronomical investments in large language models. With DeepSeek's emergence, the rationale behind pouring exorbitant sums into AI chatbot development is increasingly being called into question. Now let's read DeepSeek's response. The AI landscape is witnessing a seismic shift as newcomers like DeepSeek challenge the dominance of established giants such as OpenAI. With claims of developing its AI model for a mere $6 million, a fraction of the billion spent by OpenAI, DeepSeek is proving that innovation doesn't always require exorbitant budgets. Not only does DeepSeek's chatbot rival ChatGPT in performance, but it also outperforms it on a variety of benchmarks, raising questions about the sustainability of the massive investments made by US tech companies like OpenAI and Google. As startups like DeepSeek emerge with viable, cost-effective competitors, the industry is forced to reconsider whether pouring vast sums into AI development is truly necessary, or if the future of AI lies in leaner, more agile approaches. The two responses are pretty similar. If you did a blind test, you'd be hard-pressed to tell the difference. 
So how exactly was DeepSeek able to do with $6 billion what it took OpenAI $18 billion to do? DeepSeek released a technical report where they explained just that. The report is very technical and a lot of it is frankly above our pay grade to understand. From what I've gathered, the main innovation DeepSeek made was their ability to do something called distillation. DeepSeek used existing large language models, possibly ChatGPT and Meta's Llama, and trained their own model to emulate the outputs of the existing ones. Large language models like ChatGPT require huge amounts of memory and computing power because they are trained on massive amounts of raw data. DeepSeek requires much less memory because it only emulates outputs. A good analogy is that ChatGPT studies for an exam by memorizing the entire textbook. This takes a long time and is very costly. DeepSeek just does a bunch of practice problems from previous year's exams. This allows it to achieve similar results while not needing to memorize as much stuff. This is a gross oversimplification. Anybody who has a better understanding of this topic, feel free to share in the comments section below. Not only was DeepSeek cheaper to train, it is also much cheaper to operate. Currently, DeepSeek's consumer app is free, but if you want to use their API, you have to pay per query. DeepSeek has two models, V3 and R1. The more expensive R1 model costs 55 cents per million input tokens and $2.19 per million output tokens. This is about 30 times cheaper than what OpenAI charges for its O1 model. At the end of the day, consumers don't care how the model works. They only care that it works. And from everything we can tell, DeepSeek is on par with the latest version of ChatGPT. This is a huge competitive threat. We can already see this with DeepSeek surpassing ChatGPT on the Apple App Store. DeepSeek was founded just two years ago in 2023. Its founder is this guy, Liang Wenfeng. He also founded a hedge fund called HiFlyer, which is based in Hangzhou, China. It reportedly has $8 billion of assets under management. DeepSeek is located in the same building as HiFlyer. While we don't know the exact ownership structure, it's safe to assume that the two companies are closely linked. According to HiFlyer's website, they started developing automated trading strategies in 2008. But at this point, they weren't even a proper company. They were just a group of people doing some research. In 2015, they started the hedge fund, and presumably began raising money from outside investors. In 2016, they began trading stocks based on the AI models they had developed. We can see that they were using NVIDIA graphics cards to power their AI trading strategy. Their AI trading strategy appears to have worked very well. Over the following years, they expanded, raising billions of dollars and making ever more advanced AI trading strategies. They eventually realized they could apply their AI expertise to create an AI chatbot, so they created DeepSeek. The introduction of DeepSeek is a code red disaster for OpenAI. OpenAI has invested billions upon billions of dollars on computing power to make its large language models. They assumed this would give them an insurmountable lead. If any new competitor wanted to surpass them, they would have to spend at least as much money. This mindset was put on full display in 2023, when OpenAI CEO Sam Altman took questions at an event in India. I mean, as you know, we've got a very vibrant startup ecosystem in India. Um, specifically focused on AI, are there spaces where you see, let's say, a startup from India building you know, you can build on the models, you know, be it uh, ChatGPT and many others. But if you want to build foundational models, how should we think about that? Where is it that a team from India, you know, three super smart engineers with, you know, not 100 million, but let's say 10 million, could actually build something truly substantial? Look, the way this works is we're going to tell you it's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundation models you shouldn't try, and it's your job to, like, try anyway. And I believe both of those things. I think, it, I think it is pretty hopeless, but... Sam Altman is a visionary genius, God's gift to humanity. OpenAI is so powerful, has so much money, and is so much better than everyone else. It's laughable to think that the lowly peasants of India could ever compete with him, especially not with a measly $10 million. Two years later, the situation is completely different. DeepSeek published a technical report which explained what they did in great detail. Researchers in China, India, and even new startups in the United States will almost certainly recreate this over the coming years. A year from now, there could be dozens, if not hundreds of chatbots from all over the world with similar performance to ChatGPT. With this level of competition, it's very difficult to see how OpenAI can ever make back its $18 billion of investment. One of OpenAI's biggest investors is a venture capital firm called Kosla Ventures, which is run by its namesake founder, Vinod Kosla. Kosla is a big believer in OpenAI's strategy of outspending the competition. He has suggested that it would be reasonable to invest trillions of dollars in AI. 
Vinod Kosla has a son named Neil Kosla. While he doesn't hold an official role at Kosla Ventures, it does appear that he has some interest in his family's VC firm. Because shortly after DeepSeek came to market, he had a bizarre meltdown on Twitter. He accused DeepSeek of being a psyop by the Chinese Communist Party. It's part of economic warfare to make American AI unprofitable. He encourages people not to take the bait. So instead of using DeepSeek, you should use ChatGPT for 30 times the price, where his dad just so happens to be a major shareholder. One of the reasons DeepSeek came as such a shock is that it came from China. US tech companies had assumed they were protected from Chinese competition thanks to the US government's technology export controls. The US has consistently underestimated China's technological capabilities. For example, in 2020, the Trump administration banned Huawei from buying US-made computer chips or chips made with US equipment. Huawei previously bought chips made by the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, or TSMC. TSMC uses US-made equipment in its fabs, so it was no longer able to sell chips to Huawei. US officials thought this would deal a crushing blow to Huawei. Within just three years, Huawei launched the Mate 60 smartphone with a domestically built chipset. This came as a huge shock to US officials. When the Mate 60 was first revealed, US Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo tried to cope. She said, yeah, maybe they can produce one chip, but surely they can't mass produce them at scale. Since then, Huawei has sold tens of millions of Mate 60 and Mate 70 smartphones with Chinese-made chips. Now the exact same thing has happened with AI. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about DeepSeek? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.